Guys, welcome to YouTube, though. Joe, this is week up there with Ellie Mueller, and now, a man who, just like Drake and Josh, has finally found his way. Ellie Cunningham Mueller. Ha! Welcome to week now up there. I am Ellie Cunningham Mueller. Okay. Huge shout out to Notify Clips because he gave me a shout out yesterday. I feel as though I should give him a shout out right back. So, there you go. And the other shout out to Wallet Winners are Super Sonic 415, X Unstoppable JPX, LT Dark Lord, Damien Tech, and both of them fan edits. A lot of them makes family movie intros and movie trailers and things like that. The other one is doing commentaries and things like that. And the other two are doing gaming and technology videos and comedy sketches. So, check those people out and you won't be disappointed, alright? And now, before we go any further, I just want to say one other thing. You know, to all of you who are suffering all over the world, I hope that you will be able to survive through whatever you're going through, and I also hope that everything goes well for you in the future. Alright? That's all we need in this world. We need love. And so, I spread love right back to all of you. Now, tonight we're talking about Drake and Josh. Now, Drake and Josh is my favorite television show when I was younger. Why? I mean, come on. Two stepbrothers and one sneaky sister. Anything can be funny. And those three characters are around. Now, Drake Bell and Josh Peck played Drake and Josh on that iconic Nickelodeon show. <laughs> that makes sense. Now, anyway, long story short, this past summer, they were reunited. Granted, that happened during the VMAs, but who cares? And now, they're making YouTube videos together. Cool. Maybe they'll get another TV show. All right. All right. All right. We're halfway home, folks. We're halfway home. All we got to do now is get rid of all these political guys. Now, it's time for another topic list. Tonight's category... Topic reasons why Nickelodeon shouldn't have ended Drake and Josh in 2007. Number 8. The show Game Shakers is awful. Number 7. The girl who played Megan is out of work right now. Number 6. Drake Bell and Josh Peck were actually funny on Nickelodeon. Number 5. Nickelodeon is actually horrible right now. Number 4. Drake and Josh was extremely cool up until its last episode. Number 3. You can't end a show that was just getting started. Number two, Nickelodeon is trying to be a little too political right now. And number one, nostalgia always beats the political stuff. Every single time. Every single time. Now, I just want to ask you folks one important question. What do you think about Drake and Josh? Leave your responses down below, will you? Now, we're going to talk to Craigers and two stepmothers, one sneaky sister, all brought together because <laughs> their mom and dad just got married. Yep, that's how you describe Jake and Josh. Now, the show started on January 11, 2004, and ended near the very end of 2007. That's nearly four years of being an entertaining program. That's right. An entertaining Nickelodeon show that is way too long. True, but <laughs> it had to happen sometimes. You know, celebrities grow old and celebrities lose their edge. Yeah, you're right. Hopefully we'll never lose our edge. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Do you even have fingers? Yep. Alright. My alter ego? Yeah. The 
They can talk. It's cool. It's cool. Oh, how's it This program over here, you know, the show that I'm talking about right now, is so nostalgic, in my opinion, that I think that it's time for me to bring out of my I don't go over it. Because this show, this Greg and Josh show, really meant a lot to us. This Dak and Doc show was a good show where Dacky went into Doc and then Doc was cool. Yeah, Greg was a rock star and Josh was this uh, geeky step Ah. I'm pretty sure Josh was the was the half a retarded fat guy. But he that was before the end of the show second season. After the show second season, he started to lose a lot of weight. Sorry, but let's move on. It was a good show. I used to watch it, and if I used to watch it, and I didn't say fuck this, I mean that is good. The nice one actually good. Yeah. I mean, this is actually something that you and I can agree on. Or is it? Now, I don't, listen to this, alright? Drake Bell and Josh Peck. You know those two guys who, who, yeah. who starred on that television yeah. program? Well, they reunited during the MTV uh, VMAs this past summer. Okay. And now, they're making YouTube videos together. Well, I'll show you. Now, look at this, alright? They did Surprise by Greg and Josh, and they did Greg and Josh Reunion. What do you think? I fucking love it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Greg and Josh. Josh. With, with person. That is what I, 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 I wanted for Greg and Josh. You know what? They should have... Their own YouTube channel. You know, together. Not separate. Oh god. You have a Drake and Josh. The old reunion. But we already re reunited. Who cares? Let the hype brother be continue. This is this guy back back, back in Drake and Josh. This, this is why I I I kind of hate it. I I I, I will I will be walk, walk walking down the hall. Minding my my own business, and then this time about well, three hundred dollars at a time, but they hug me, brother, and then I'll, and I'm like, I am waiting for a ride, and then he will just pick me up with that hug, and I'm like, stop this, stop, and I'm like, oh no. No, we would totally take Greg and Josh over any TV show. It's on, right? I want to take it o o over over anything else, but hmm, internet. Think with me. What is all about from that's good? Rick and Morty. So freaking Rick, 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 Rick and Morty, and that for freaking um American television. The Drake and Josh show is so perfect that I don't think rating it would even matter. Alright. You should totally watch it when you're young. Cause that's when you're gonna freaking get the full experience. Well folks, that's the show for this evening. I'll see you all tomorrow. That's the news nine miles keys. Well well we'll buy a fair one.